Hey you legends, what's up? Hazara here, welcome back guys. Today I'm going to show you how to kill that botchling on Death March difficulty. Now, I always went for the Lubberkin path. I don't know why, I'm always kind of a moral knight, so I want things to end very happily, of course. But uh, today is not today. I'm going for a full douchebag playthrough, so uh, we have to kill the Lubberkin. I mean the botchling for that, of course. So uh, I'm going to show you guys how it's done, because you guys are having a lot of difficulty with it. Now, the first thing you need to know is that you have to treat the botchling as a Al Ghul. Uh, as you know, Al Ghuls and Ghouls are very feisty, they can attack really quick, and um, an Al Ghul actually uses spikes on his uh, on his bag and on his head that will uh, also kill you, I mean, hurt you, if you do not pay close attention. So that's how you have to treat the botchling. As you can see, the botchling has a really easy attack pattern, actually. He uh, he waits for a while, then he lunges at you, and you can easily dodge it just by doing a uh, just a normal dodge. You don't even have to roll away from him. And as soon as he uh, rolls away from you, look at like I'm seeing here, like you you dodge, you do a strong attack, and then an Igni. I use Igni this playthrough, and it's really helping me out on the bot sling, as you can see. That fire damage is really really good on him. So you just want to pay close attention, and he's only gonna do one simple attack. And that will be the lunge, there you go. You dodge it, strong attack, strong attack, and you Igni. Now, now comes the tricky part, because now he's gonna summon... Uh, <laughs> he's gonna summon three raves, I believe. So what I did is, I went straight into my inventory, get that Spectre all up on my blade, and uh, I, I popped the Thunderbolt potion, went switched to Torniel for that regen, and I actually did not use Eirden for the raves, because that botch thing was really annoying. So what I tried to do was, I switched over to Axie, and uh, I kind of exit the botchling so uh, to keep him out of the fight because you can easily handle two raves. They're easily spotted out. Uh, always keep vision on the raves and the botchling at the same time because if you lose track of one of them, you're in for a bad position because you will never know when that botchling or rave is going to show up. So as you can see, I kind of exit the botchling. And there's one rave left. So uh, what are we going to do? Focus all your c attention on the raves first. Like the botchling is regenerating health, yes. But he is easily killed on his own, guys. So do not worry about killing the botchling all over again. Just go for that raves. Go for a safe pod. And uh, wait for those raves to die. Like you see here. You go well on that raves. That botchling is behind me, so I roll away. Roll away from that. Make some more... G give, me a <laughs> give me and the raves some room for us to tango and dance. Alright, as you can see, the, the botchling is already redrawing his spikes. It means that he's not going to summon any raves anymore. So now you can just easily finish off that last rave. There you go. Finish him off, Geralt. You can do it! You can do it! <laughs> okay, there it is. Alright, I was in there for a bad spot. I did not foretell that, uh, that rave coming up behind me. But now we've done with the raves, and good news is, guys, there will be no raves at this point anymore. It's just the botchling, so just do what you have to do, what what you did before the rave spawn. Only now the botchling summons his spikes, like an Al Ghul does. So what you want to do is, um, you just be, you just want to do Axiom. Axiom for the spikes, because as soon as he has the spikes, he's, like, nearly invincible. He has so much armor, and he has so much health then. And when he redraws a spike, like you, like you see right now, he is really susceptible to fire damage. And it's just the first part all over again, so you just want to repeat this until he's dead. And that's actually how you kill the botchling on Death March. It only took me two tries. The first try, I did not account for the raves. I was like, what the fuck are these raves doing here? So that ca caught me off guard. The third, the second time, I was like, eh, <laughs> those raves were killing me, and I didn't know what to do with the botchling. So I went for my, my, my third and my last one, the one you're seeing right now. I, I was like, I should actually the ghoul. I mean, the botchling to... Uh, to make it more even, to only focus on the raves during the rave part, and it actually worked for me. So, um, this is how you do it, guys. This is how I did it. Tell me how you did it, how you killed the botchling. If you haven't killed the botchling, uh, if you found it useful, make sure to subscribe to the video, like the video. I will keep more Witcher videos coming in for you guys. Enjoy the video. I'll see you guys next time. Peace!
Hey guys, did you like the video? Make sure to subscribe to my channel, that would really help me out a lot. Also, if you're interested, check out my other social media platforms. I livestream on Twitch, and I Twitter a lot on Twitter. <laughs> Stay classy guys, Zero out.